This is Film Masters. On this two-part episode, we're creating this. This is a two-part tutorial. In the very first part, this tutorial, we'll be working on Photoshop to build the Star Wars Force Awakens logo in text, and then we'll be exporting it into part two of the tutorial and building it in After Effects and creating the animation sequence. Now, if you do not have Photoshop, that is okay. Make sure that you download the download pack, which includes all the project files for Photoshop including After Effects. So if you don't have Photoshop, jump to part two of this tutorial and then you can start following along. Okay, so first up in Photoshop, let's go File, New. I'm gonna call this Star Wars logo. Leave it at width of 1920 and height 1080. So that's high def and select OK. Now to get rid of the bars, let's go uh, Control H and grab the paint bucket, select black and we're gonna make the background black. Next thing we're going to do is go straight over to the text tool and we're going to write Star Wars. So first of all, let's uh, open up the uh, character presets and we're going to be using the preset from the download pack Star Jedi and write Star. Now it's in black, so I'm just going to select white just so you can see what we're doing here. So I'm just going to resize it now. So it's going to resize the box that we've got the text in. And uh, move it in position. And now using the text tool, which is the T on the shortcut on the keyboard, I'm just gonna write wars. Now, let's make sure with the star and the wars, you uh, make sure that the first letter is a capital. So capital S and capital W. I'm gonna move wars now below star in the layers window. And I'm just going to select star and just resize it so that the edges are in line like so. Now that I've done that, I'm going to uh, hide the characters window and I'm going to go in there and select layers style. So just double select on the right hand side here and it'll bring up layers styles and select stroke. And then we'll go down and select the color. I'm going to make this a yellow color, very similar to the Star Wars logo. And as you can see, uh, if I move the scale here, I can uh, make it as thick as I want. So you can make it cartoonistic. If not, let's bring it down to four. Select OK. Then we'll do the same with wars. So again, double select over here on the right hand side. We'll bring up layer styles. Let's go to stroke, select color. Let's use the color picker to select the original yellow. Select OK. Change the scale or the size to four and OK. Now the next thing we need to do is make sure that the uh, words are all black. So let's select star first and change the text color up here to black. Select OK, and we'll do the same to Wars. So again, using the text tool, select the text of Wars, make it pure black, and select OK. And there's the basics of our Star Wars logo. So the next thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna hide the background by uh, just taking the eye out. And I'm gonna select Star and grab the uh, Magic Eraser tool. And as you can see, it won't allow me to delete any of the black. So what we need to do is open up a brand new layer, move it down under star, select it and star. So both layers, go to layer and merge layers. Now by doing this, it's going to allow us to actually go into the text and delete the black. So for example, like so. So what we need to do is do the same again with wars. So I'm gonna select wars. I'm gonna open up a new layer, move it below wars, select that and wars. Now control E will bring them together. That's a shortcut. And just using the uh, magic eraser tool, we'll just delete the black. Now, as you can see, now we're just keeping the stroke around the text. Now the next thing that we need to do is make a new layer and drop that below star. I'm gonna double select that area and call it star background. I'm gonna set up a brand new layer again and I'm gonna call that one Wars Background and I'm gonna drop that below the Wars. Now there's a reason why we're doing this. I'm making it a little bit easier for After Effects. So when we start putting some animated video in behind the text. So 
Let's uh, delete the background, which is that black layer that we had. Now I'm going to get the paint bucket tool, select Wars background and star background and make sure that both of them are black, as you can see on the layers window. Now I'm going to use the magic wand tool, select star, select in here to go around the text and then hold the shift button down and just select inside the R and the A. And then I'm going to go down to star background and press delete. And if I can show you what I've done, I've actually cut out like a cookie cutter around the black so that it sits nicely behind the stroked element. Now I'm going to do exactly the same for wars. So using the magic wand tool and select the wars background and delete it. And that project is now ready for after effects. So let's go up to file, save as, going to leave it the same, leave it as a PSD Photoshop file, make sure the layers is selected and save. Now, if you want to become a film master sub, it's pretty simple. Just simply subscribe to our channel, or you can follow us on Facebook or on Twitter. And until next time, don't just film it, master it.